Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Bill came in Thursday night at midnight. His flight was delayed, but he's here. Friday, we had date night, and uh, today's Animal Kingdom. Welcome to J&B Adventures. Uh, we have Bill with us this week. Yay! And uh, we're at Animal Kingdom. So, we're far from rope dropping Animal Kingdom. It is 9.30, it opened at eight. We were tired, we got home late. And I'm a little bouncy because I don't have my gimbal. So, sorry about that guys. But uh, we're gonna go see if we can check, get breakfast instead of lunch at Tusker. Tusker House, right? Yep. We're gonna see if we can get breakfast instead of lunch. We'll see. Sometimes they have extra seating. It doesn't hurt to ask. What's the worst they can say? No. Uh, we really don't even know what we're doing today at Animal Kingdom, but we're here. We're here. And of course, you all need a picture of or a view of the tree of life. This Husker house said no. So that's okay. So lunch it is. Oh, the phone Hello? is ringing. Hello? We decided to go. Never heard that before. That's weird. We decided to go on the safari. It's a 50 minute wait, but we have nothing but time, guys. Nothing but time. Okay, guys. So I lied. I can't wait 50 minutes. I got Genie Plus from multiple parks today and it was actually super cheap. It was $20 per person for multiple park Genie Plus. So we're gonna go, still gonna go on the Kilimanjaro Safari, but we're gonna wait four minutes instead of 50 and get in line for our Fast Pass. In the meantime, Bill and I are eating a sausage and egg and cheese biscuit. Um, you can get those right at the food station quick serve right over there in front of the safari um, ride line and they're actually really good um, I got a water bill got a Gatorade stay hydrated guys. It's a little on the warm side today All right off we go We're gonna eat and then get on that safari ride we're very happy I he's here. So we're going to so uh, enjoy the right. safari and I'll take you guys along and here, you can see the animals with me. Look at all that hippos. They often do sleep underwater. First, we'll talk about them. They get their name because they can spring six feet straight up in the air when frightened or 13 feet when moving through the air. So technically, that means they could jump up and over our heads through the truck if they wanted to. When they do do that jumping, it's called trunking. It's really weird. It's a weird, weird uh, word word. I like to call them the s'mores of the savannah. When we get a little bit closer, you'll see what I'm talking about because they look like little s'mores. So not only do they look sweet, they actually also smell super sweet. During mating season, they're going to emit a smell that smells like cotton candy. It's really to have the same. It's kind of like their version of a fingerprint, but it's also how they tell each other apart. They don't neigh or whinny like other horses do. They instead make a low chuffing or snorting noise to communicate. We're going to let these giraffes do their thing. Uh, we're going to have a great view of them, though, in just a second as they come around over here. This is what we call a giraffe joke. It's a giraffe joke. That is a really good joke. They're all just walking right in front of us. So my personal favorite thing about giraffes is they've only got seven vertebrae in their neck. I know that sounds kind of random, but that's actually the same number of vertebrae we humans have in our necks. I just think it's really cool that we have that in common with an animal that's 13 to 15 feet taller than us. I just think that's really cool. That's going to be how they reach the tops of those trees. Also with those long nose ears. By flapping their ears, they can cool themselves down by up to 15 degrees, so it's kind of like their ear conditioner. They're also going to throw hot dirt air and water on their backs as another way to cool themselves down. So because of that, they usually like to hang out either around bay on trees or by a corn girl. Whereas those okay, black rhinos only weigh about rhinos about there. A group of them is called a crash, so I would cut this a little crash on our left side. They can charge at speeds of 35 miles per hour. I can't remember if I said it, so I'm going to say it again anyway. I like to think of them as just like big giant puppies because they get the zoomies all the time. It's really cute, especially when it's been like raining or storming. I don't know why. They just love it. But they also just love 
love to roll around in this big mud pit right here on our left. It's kind of similar to the rig pit that we passed earlier, but this one's just a little bit easier to ever roll around in, get absolutely covered in that mud. But it's also kind of like the same thing as a puppy rolling around in the mud after it's just rained. So the females, no, 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 words of fire. Whoa, oh my goodness. So the females are going to go out and do all the hunting, whereas the males are going to stay home and guard their territory and their pride. So that's sleeping is to conserve the energy since they do all their hunting at night. That sleeping is automatically going to bring your body temperature down as well. So it's also just going to help them cool off. So the way they protect their pride is by roaring super loud. Those roars can be heard about five miles. That's a good safari. Jesse was good. Yeah, like probably the best safari guide I've had ever. Never knew that a group of zebras was a dazzle. Yes. And that, and that a group of rhinos is a crash. Oh, yeah. Uh, she was full of puns and just a good time. And Bill, you're right. Hmm. Can't go any further. So, uh, let's go through a gift store because it's hot. And a little AC would be nice. And who doesn't love Kevin? We love Kevin. And his... <laughs> We're quietly walking. <laughs> They're reeling them in. All right, we gotta go to our next uh we have to go to our next ride but uh kevin's the best he, he's like just awesome and he talks to us all right so i'm with bill at animal kingdom we got a lightning lane for bill what what, what, what we're going right now yeah cali river rapid rides we all know how much I love that ride. I'm going to get wet. But it's hot. It is hot. It, it'll be a little refreshing. and uh, But then right after that, we have to go to lunch. So, well, it's an only a 10-minute wait. That's not bad, but we got our lightning lane. So, we'll get right on. It'll be a walk-on for us. That was pretty much a walk-on. We're just waiting in the last bit of line, waiting for a boat to clear out, and then they'll kind of scooch us all in. But uh, we're about to get wet. We're not sitting next to each other. Kind of. That's okay. We can watch Bill get wet. <laughs> and it's just like that. We're wet. Bill's wet. I don't like this ride. Okay, well, I really hate that ride because I get so wet. I am a little cooler than I was. So we're gonna head over to Mount Everest next and then uh, go to the Tusker house for some lunch. Expedition Everest, we're gonna conquer you. That's our next ride where it was like a walk-on with our lightning lane. Um, we're in the back of the bus. Best place to be. A little ride in order to drive. Oh, the first hill. I love going up Mount Everest because of the views. The views are just awesome. Watch these views up here.
All right, and just like that, the ride's done. It drives you a little, and uh, now we are headed to lunch at the Tusker House with uh, Mickey and friends. We'll see the Donald. number one Donald and uh, Goofy. So uh, it looks like it's time for our check-in. All right, we're seated at the Tusker house. Um, we're gonna wait for Goofy, and then we're gonna wait for Donald. And then we're gonna get up and get some food. I am starving. I got a coffee and a Diet Coke. I need that double caffeine today. We had a late night last night. We did good, Bill. We had a fun time at Jelly Rolls. Um, met some new friends. Well, I met new friends. Bill's not this old. Anyways, met some new friends and uh, met some old friends. We had a good time. But uh, here comes Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> he is going through life like hey, hey. <laughs> How are you today, Goofy? I'm excellent. I'm excellent. We're having, uh, we're having a fun day. We've been on a lot of rides and I'm starving. Yeah. Mount Everest one of the best, right? You're scared. Stop it. Goofy, you're fearless. <laughs> well, Goof, you have a lot of guests to uh, see, so I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, let's high five it out. Thanks. Have a great, oh, love you too. Thank you. I feel like, uh, Donald's impeding on Goofy's time. It's because, yeah, it's because Donald's number one. Number one. Donald's number one. Yeah. There's no other like you, Donald. <laughs> so how you doing today? You good? We, uh, we've been on a lot of rides. We're starving ready to go yeah you eat you know you're here all day long do you get to munch on the good food oh good <laughs> so you're good to go <laughs> you got a lot of people to see today I think this place is booked we all came to see Donald just now well you have a magical day and now uh, we'll get a little selfie with uh, you and we'll get a selfie there. A picture. A picture. Number one. Thanks, Donald. Have a great day. Mwah. You look fabulous today. Let's see the shoes. Awesome. Got to have the heels on and the eyelashes. Always looking perfect. Well, we're, uh, we're full. <laughs> we had a good meal. So uh, do you want to do a picture with Bill? And uh, because Bill's never here, I'm always here. <laughs> do we put you as number one as well? Because you know. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. adore dancing with you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Aww. We're uh, what, wearing our matching Mickey hats today. I, I forgot my ears. I know. Look, they're gone. <laughs> I love my ears. I always wear them to the parks and we were out late last night. He made me stay out at Jelly Rolls at the boardwalk. Uh, I know. Two o'clock in the morning, but we're here. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And uh, I know our, our neighbors, it's her birthday today. And she's not, she went to go get food. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but her, her 
significant other has left her and went to go get food before she saw it, before he got to see any characters. <laughs> Bye. And it's dessert time. We have a s'mores something or other, a chocolate cake. It looks like just like a little vanilla cupcake, butterfly cupcake. This is baked mousse. Bill, what did you get? You got a cookie and it looks like a bumblebee. Looks like, what is that? I don't know. A honeybee something. Huh. So that's what we got for dessert, guys. For eating up. Are you full, Bill? I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. So we have, uh, we made uh, dining reservations at the uh, boat, or no, where'd we go? Where'd we go? Allen Compass. So that way we can park at uh, the Yacht Club. <laughs> I'm a little slow today. Like, I'm having issues, aren't I? Bad. <laughs> So we are going to leave Animal Kingdom. We're gonna actually end this video here because, well, we'll make another video when we go over to Epcot. So as an end to this video, we're going to wish everybody a um, happy weekend. And we'll see you again soon at J and B Adventures. Please hit the like and subscribe. I am up to 55 subscribers. What? I know. Yes. Bill, I think you make the videos too. We miss him. We miss him. We want him with us. 